the gospel of sonship and immortality with Pastor John Anasike. Pastor John is called of God to apostle the gospel of sonship and immortality, the latter reign gospel poised to empower the sons of God to live and remain or transform to exit the earth by revelation, bringing the body of Christ to perfection and unlocking the Zoe, the God life in you. I pray God your whole spirit. I pray God your whole soul be preserved unto the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. Then he says, I, I pray your whole body, your whole body be preserved until the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. It not means that the principles, the laws of the spirit and biblical principles and spiritual laws that preserve the spirit differ from the laws that preserve the soul. Each of the constitution that make up the human being is subject to preservation. And, 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 and Paul speaks of the wholeness of the spirit. Now let's move down to the spirit man. What are the units that constitute the spirit man? Because God wants to perfect every unit of the human spirit. The Bible calls the human spirit the inner man of the heart. There's an inner man in your spirit. It is your spirit, the inner man of the heart. The offspring of God's word. The child of the Holy Ghost. The finest product of the living word of God. First Peter chapter 1 verse 23 says, Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which lives and abides forever. Now, your spirit has been begotten. And in the realms of the spirit, in the realm of the word, you were begotten a spirit. Within the constitution of this inner man of the heart, or this spirit man, is different units, different units of the spirit. And each of these units must be nourished each of these units must be grown. Each of these units must be fed with the Spirit. But before we identify the food that nourishes the inner man of the heart, we would first need to know what are the units that constitutes, or that constitute the inner man of the heart. Let me tell you, your spirit, listen to this, is a creation of love. Your spirit is a creation of light. Your spirit is a creation of faith, life, or what we call eternal life. The Bible says that God has shed in our hearts the love of God. So in your heart is a love of God. 
These are the units that constitute the creation of the new man. For instance, if you look at yourself right now, you have head, you have hands, you have legs, you have stomach. All of these units constitute your body. So there are four major units that constitute your spirit man. Love, eternal life, faith, and what? Light. Faith. The Bible says that God has given to us the measure of faith. The entrance of his word gives light. When you received the gospel of Jesus Christ, light came into you. As many as received him to them, he gave eternal life. He that believes in the Son has life. You have life. So these four units, these four components constitute the inner man of the heart. So to come into the wholeness of the inner man of the heart is to measure on the principles of each of these spiritual faculties that constitute your spirit man. Listen to this. If you stay in the revelation of the love of God and begin to study on the love and let the love of God prevail in your heart, if you stay in the principles that advance your faith and you begin to walk on the knowledge that increases your faith and you walk by faith and not by sight and then you walk in increasing in light <laughs> that will bring your spirit to a place of wholeness. That will perfect your spirit. Love. Light. Faith. And what? Eternal life. The Bible says, building up your most holy faith. So that faith is built. Faith is developed because faith is a unit of the spirit. Just like when you were born, you were a baby. Is that correct? You started eating. Your body is, is today the way it is. It grew and became nourished. It is actually a function of the food you have eaten. This is just a function of the food you've eaten over the years. Had nourished your body, your skin, your, all the units that constitute your body. So faith is one of the units of the spirit. And by praying in tongues, we build, we develop our faith. Listen to this. When you study the word of God and enforce the word, you are increasing your faith capacity. The sight of your spirit is faith. The sight of your natural man is illusion, sensual, Sight is deception. It's deception. See, when you don't see by faith, you see by your natural sight. But when you see by faith, your natural sight goes blind. Then your spirit begins to see. 
and realities are locked up in the spirit. You see, listen to this. Realities are the function of your spirit. That's, that's where realities are. Thank you for watching this broadcast. We trust that you've been blessed by the man of God's teaching. To get the full message, call us on plus 2721-510-4029 or email us info at spiritrevelationchurch.org. Pastor John at spiritrevelationchurch.org or visit our bookshop at 416 Vortrecker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa. Follow Pastor John Anasike on Facebook and YouTube for news feeds and updates. Immortality, death, impossible. Divine health, sickness, impossible. Divine protection, destruction, impossible. Divine provision, poverty, impossible. Divine direction, mistakes, impossible. It's time to live and not die. Thank you and God bless you.